Earlier loans were taken by individuals, but now, time has changed. Now anyone can take loans, whether it is an individual, a company, or even a country. But why will a country require a loan? In the year 2018, Pakistan spent $52 billion, and earned only $36 billion. That means a fiscal deficit of $16 billion. So, what will they do in such cases? How will they keep their economy running? This is only possible by taking loans. But, what if they refuse to pay back their loan? We have already talked about, the debt trap diplomacy of China in our previous video. Now, let's talk about the case where countries refuse to pay back loans, in this new episode, of Stats to Analyze. Let's think of reasons why a country won't pay back its loan. First, it can't. Second, it don't want to pay back. Let's talk about both the reasons. If a country has gone bankrupt, how will it pay back its debt? Many countries like Greece, Ireland, Pakistan, Spain, Argentina, and Iceland, have been almost, or completely bankrupt, in recent history. Greece may be the birthplace of theatre, philosophy, and democracy, but nothing outshines the bizarre economic traditions of the once superpower. Alexis Tsipras, the new Prime Minister of Greece have promised to renegotiate with the EU, stabilize the economy, and lessen the debt burden. If he does not succeed, there is a real chance that Greece could be on the brink of bankruptcy again. In 2001, the government of Argentina declaimed bankruptcy, and could not pay back its foreign debt, and, there was a cash flight from the banks, as people withdrew their savings. Protesters took to the streets and forced the Argentine president to flee in a helicopter. In 2008, the main Icelandic banks failed, and the government refused to bail them out. This held the government at the edge of bankruptcy, but it also endangered the financial situation of their citizens. So, how will these countries pay back their loans, or, the more precise question will be, what can China do to get back its money? Historically, creditor nations were known to seize assets by force, or, to blockade the country's ports, until debt payments resumed. For example, in 2012, an Argentinian Navy vessel was impounded in a port in Ghana, because of disputes over Argentina's sovereign debt. In 2017, and Sri Lankan port was given to China on a lease of 99 years, after Sri Lanka defaulted on loan repayment. So, in short, if a country cannot pay back its loan, the China can recover the money through seizing its resources, and assets. It can also harass or force it by blocking its national ports and navy vessels. But, the real question is, what can China do if a country refuse to pay back loan? If the country is big and influential, then it will create way more mess, than the world can handle. For example, 50 years ago, United States debt was $350 billion, and within 10 years, it reached $1 trillion. With tax cut, and wars all over the world, it is somewhere near $25 trillion now. So, if US defaulted, then it will have tremendous effect on the world. The stock market will fall. Investors will rush to other countries, for safer investment. Recession will be on the economic horizon. The US economy has far-reaching impact, so the impact will not be conserved within the homeland. It will create a global mess. China owns more than $1.1 trillion of the US loans, which is equivalent to 10% of China's GDP. And if US doesn't pay it back, it will shake the Chinese economy for sure. China will impose restriction on USA and the world will unite against the bully America. No one will think to provide loans to US. All loans given by US to other countries will be nullified. In short, US will be devastated even if they think about defaulting on Chinese loans. But, what if a country with less global influence, who doesn't care about its sovereignty, refuse to pay back loans? But, if America can't afford to default, then no one can right? Actually no. Just a week before, Papua New Guinea, a small island nation just above the Australia, 
has refused to pay back the Chinese loans. Chinese telecom giant has built a $53 million data center in the island nation, from the loans sanctioned by the Export-Import Bank of China. But, now the Papua New Guinea is refusing to pay back the loans, they claim that China was using this data center, to spy. Francis Manique, who handles the Communications and Information Technology Ministry, have accused China of deliberately building a faulty data center. He further added, if you buy something from a shop, and it does not work, you return it, and get your money back. This is the minuscule amount for China, but Beijing would lose on two fronts, first being the trend, where countries may refuse to pay back Chinese loans, if the product is faulty, and the second being losing its strategic interests on the island. In the coming future, many other small economies, like those in East Asia, or Africa, which do not care much about the sovereign defaults, might refuse to pay back Chinese loans, thanks to the trends set by the island nation. In result, this will put the whole Belt and Road Initiative project at risk. As of now, China is silent, maybe the island nation have defeated the China, in its own game. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more.